So, I mean, it's like, right there. so according to um to volleyballwood.net, volleyball is the second most popular sport in the entire world, only second behind soccer. Right. Since um since it's really popular, many of you might have known people from your past that played volleyball for their high school, or even know people today that play volleyball for Cal State LA. Well, like you see, I played volleyball about four years of high school, two years baby, two years varsity. I wasn't that good, but then I turned good, so it's okay. Um, in this speech, I hope to deliver a better knowledge to the game, um, to the audience, right? Um, I will do this by um, explaining some, like, the basic rules of volleyball and uh, how, um, and the different types of positions, and depending on what type of positions you use, how it changes the whole format of how the game is played, right? And um, I will also, do, and I will give you, like, uh, like where volleyball is played and like where I find it easier to be in place, right? I right, just explain to you my credibility and um, I'll explain to you the rules. Um, so just like any hardcore sport, right? Like soccer, basketball, baseball, tennis, chess. Um, volleyball has its own set of rules, right? Um, and according to uh, ooh, according to um, FIFA, right? Which is like the equivalent of like the FIFA, right? So that's, that's the one volleyball has, right? I can't pronounce the name because it's like in French or something. So, sorry. Um, but yeah, according to the website, fibb.org, um, I got the, these set of rules right here. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, like uh, a rule is like you can't touch the ball twice in a row. Um, a team only has um, three touches, so like they pass it once and they pass it again. And on the third one, they have to get it over. If not, that's a violation and they lose a point, right? Um, no player can touch the net. Uh, they have a little hand on it, or if they jump for a block and the wrist touch the net, that's a violation, and they can't, they can't, they can do that, right? So, um, and then these antennas right here, right? Um, if a volleyball hits them, uh, it's considered out of bounds, and also if the ball goes over that and it's not in between these two antennas, that's also considered out of bounds because the out of bounds signs right here and right there. So it's like basically not in the court. Uh, and then the serving line right here. It's um, if a player steps on this line while serving, that's a violation, you can't do that. Uh, and if you're playing back row and you decide to attack and you step in front of this line right here, it's called the back row line, um, that you can't do that, right? Since you're a back row player, so you don't have the privilege of playing front row, right? And um, yeah, and then there's an optional position called the libero, which I'll get to in a second. Um, so yeah, so, oh yeah, and it's also, it's also for safety. So, and then this is line right here, right? Which is in front of these two. It's called the midway line, right? Uh, your foot, your foot cannot touch it. You cannot, cannot go over it. The whole foot cannot go over it due to um, the safety of other players. If um, other players might be, you might like trip on other players' ankles, or like, when you're landing and you like, you might just like step like, like hit his ankle or something. And it's due to, like mostly for safety. And it's also like meant, the rules are also meant to like balance out the game, where right? like any other sport, you need rules to balance them out. Um, so yeah. Um, so I just talked about the the rules of the game. Now I'm gonna talk about the safety. And the, I just talked about the rules and safety and balance of um, of the game. So now we'll talk about the different positions and how it changes due to what you use, like what type of positions you use. Um, so just like in soccer, it depends depending on the formations you use, like a four two four one, whatever. I don't know. Or um, in basketball, you can either go big, right? If you have a center, you could go small ball which um, increases like the fast breaks and stuff, and like you play it differently. In volleyball, there are six main positions. There's an outside hitter, middle blocker, and an opposite hitter. Those are known as your front court hitter, right? These are the guys that stand in front of this line right here, and are they're used to block opposite attack and to attack. Um, and then your back court, which is right here in the back, right? And these are um, these are called left back, middle back, right back, and the barrel, right? And um, there's seven positions, but there can only be six at a time. The libero is the optional one, um, and uh, the back row passes are, are the back row players are used for defense, mostly for digging up um, hits that the blockers can't block, for digging them up and um, for passing to to their setter. They can set the ball to the hitter and for the hitter to kill it to kill the ball to get a point. Um, and I I'll talk about how like depending on what position like you use, like for example, if you decide to use a libero. The libero has its own restrictions due, due to, like I said, to balance it out. Because if the libero didn't have any restrictions, it will be like too overpowered and like like people would abuse the system. And like the libero can't, he can't hit over the net, he can't set the ball in front of this line, um, and like he can't, he can't serve. 
So like depending on like most people that use on the barrel, they tend to focus more on defense because of the offense that they lose uh, because of the unit. But they also gain a lot of defense because the libero is usually the defensive specialist. Uh, so I just talked about how different positions and the way you use them changes the game and how um, it depends on it. And, and it changes how the team runs, right? So now I'm gonna talk about where you play volleyball and like, where I prefer to play volleyball. So most of you started playing volleyball and like, did play volleyball for a bit in elementary school. You guys started in the concrete, right? With the little holes and little nets. Um, and then towards, towards you getting older, you saw that it's being played more sophisticated and more competitive, like in your high school, in the other whole hardwood floor. Or you're, sometimes you go to the beach and you see it being played um, in, the, in, the, in the beach, right? In the sand. So um, I personally find it easier to play in the hardwood floor due to the sand, like causing friction and like it makes you like it makes you move slower. And a study actually shown by David John Bishop in, two, in 2004, published by Journal of Sports and Medicine and uh, Physical Fitness, um, his study shows that actually players do get more tired in the sand. Um, he did this by measuring um measuring um, their vertical their vertical leaps and um, and how like over time. The players playing in hardwood floor um, had more vertical leap at the end of the game than the ones playing. So like they got more tired than the ones playing in the sand. Uh, so in conclusion, I uh, I uh, I hope you guys gain a better knowledge of the game. I did this by showing you different positions, the, the rules, uh, the safe the safety rules, and like how the like, different positions uh, depending on like what you use um, changes the aspect of the game. And I also showed you. Uh, which, which is better to play either sand or hardwood floor. Um, and then I'd like to leave you like with this quote that my coach always used to tell me all four years. He used to say, whenever we would give up on play and we would just let the ball drop, he would scream at us because he would, he would say, you never knew if you could get the ball unless you tried, right? So he always used to scream at, at us and it got like engraved in my hard drive, right? It said, when in doubt, dive out, right? So when you're in doubt that you're gonna get the ball or not, just dive out. You never know what's gonna happen. Uh, oh, my side. Yeah. So from all that stuff, who's that handsome devil? You don't know. Uh, the libero. He actually, um, he actually wears a different color jersey uh, just to indicate that he's a libero. And uh, yeah, this is beach, and this is um, hardwood, and uh, this is my team.